If I asked you to name one game that gives you an absolute power trip, what comes to mind? Well, no, I'm not talking about Doom. Metal Gear Rising Revengeance is a game I personally hold dear and true to my heart. And if you've been on my channel for a long amount of time, you know I started my channel off with Metal Gear Rising Revengeance memes. The classic. Now, what comes to your brain when you read my channel name? That's right, Halo. Now, what if I told you there was a game that existed somehow that gives you both the power trip and Metal Gear Rising Revengeance while also having the same premise as Halo? Crisis! Crisis is a game that came back way back in 2007, and I know there's a remasters of all three games, but I'm broke and paying for Game Pass, so you just shut your mouth while I go back to playing my game! I should probably also mention that alongside with all those remasters existing, I know there's two other games that come after this, but I've only played Crisis 1 and barely touched Crisis 2, and I have no idea about Crisis 3, so don't expect coming in here more of a storyline, more of a kind of explaining gameplay mechanics-ish and whatnot, Badger style. And now you're definitely wondering by this point, okay, why should I care about this game? What makes it good? Why does Metal Gear Rising Revengeance and Halo have to do with it? Why are you animated? Well, sit your butt down and grab a snack or 37 as I try to explain to you Crisis why it's good and why you should play it. Or at the very least, give it a try. The game starts you off as a guy called Nomad, and I totally didn't steal my name from him, and it was just a minor coincidence, I promise you. You put on a ski mask, which you don't realize actually is what your nano suit is. The nano suit is the peak of this game. It is what makes Crisis Crisis, kind of like how Spartans have the Mjolnir armor and clone troopers have... I don't actually know what it's made out of, but they have that armor. The nano suits in this game are essentially that, but 20 times better. When I say it, that the nano suit is 20 times better than the Mjolnir armor, I mean it. This thing can instantly increase your speed in a push of a button, can make you literally bulletproof, and can insta-kill anybody who tries to challenge you to the next melee fight. Now the nano suit comes with a whole bunch of other technologies like night vision, extra weapon carries, and so much more you practically feel invincible with this thing, especially with that bulletproof aspect I was talking about. Until you realize you're not invincible and die. The enemy AI depends all about the difficulty, like I played on normal, right, and had to turn it down to easy for a little time. Yes, I know, call me stupid, I don't know, my video. But honestly, I shudder and hide in the coward corner, fearing and cowering when I hear the word DELTA difficulty. I won't go too deep into gameplay of mechanics, but basically all you gotta know is that you can be super stealthy, or you can go guns a blazing every 35 seconds and make the enemy know full aware that you exist. You can do anything in between that as well. You can be a demo man, you, you can be a sniper, but you can't be all nine classes of TF2. What I'm trying to get across is that this game favors choose your own play style to a specific degree. There are some limitations, like you can't just choose everything and it's a first person shooter, so you know you gotta follow the story. But for the main aspects of like choosing weapons, how you wanna use them, and so much more, you get to choose that essentially. And you get to choose how much of one weapon you hold, or how much you have, and whatnot. It's just great. Even if you are the Metal Gear Solid type to keep stealth crouching every 35 seconds trying to remain in full hit, once you're detected, don't worry, you've got fists. And holy cow, I cannot stress to you how much I love the fists. You do not know the dopamine that goes through you when you full sprint up to an enemy, wait for that AI to turn around, and then just give them the one, two, and run. Now I know I said this video really wasn't going to cover the story, but to simplify it, US is mad at Korea for some odd reason, so this is Nana Supoyos. Nana Supoyos keep dying for some odd reason. Now only you and Saika remain, so you two have to book it out and out of there, then once you realize, oh shoot, my mentor I thought is dead is alive, and holy cow, aliens exist, and Parade Ship gets attacked, and David and Goliath, and am I making any sense? No. Good. Go play this game yourself. Now, there is a lot of other things I could rant on about for 35 minutes about this game, about Crisis, but I, like I said earlier, want to get this video done at some point, so I think that's pretty a good way to stop this video, right then and there. You may or may not be wondering, okay, why does this man stop the video? It's kind of like a cliffhanger. There's so much questions that I have. There's so many answers that I don't have. Why are you doing this? Well, simple. 
If you want answers about the game, go play the game. If you want answers about why I can't do this, it's because I don't have the time or storage space for a PC. So please, like and subscribe so I can afford a new PC and pay off my editor, because holy cow, I feel so bad. Now, if I had to give a generalized rating of this game, of how I feel about it all, music, every aspect, combining together, definitely 7.2 out of 10. I love this game, I've stuck with, stuck with me for a while, not as much as something like Halo or Metroid or something like that has stuck with me, but it, it's definitely there. It's definitely on the list. So yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to say about Crisis. You just enjoyed me ranting for 5 minutes, 48 seconds, or however long this audio clip will forever be. I just want to say thank you to everybody who supported me, giving it so much funny juice, whatever we can give it. Big test one is how I can describe this video. So thank you for watching all the way through or skipping to the end, because I'm definitely having timestamps for you. And uh, yeah, I'll see you later, Spartans.